My occupation is I'm a full-time dancer, teacher, uh, and performer. I got to where I am today as a professional dancer by um, training hard, traveling lots, making connections, uh, being professional, um, saying yes to things, trying new things, um, uh, making friends, making teachers, um, finding teachers, uh, and just being really interested in what I was doing. The companies I've worked for are, as a, as a freelance dancer, loads of companies like Derby Dance in Derby, the old library in Mansfield. Um, I've worked for, I've worked a lot for Cla um, at Clarendon College in Nottingham, um, and uh, loads of places, loads of anywhere that, that would employ me. But the main work I've done are for Trinity Warriors, which are my original crew from Derby. Uh, which I was with since about 2001, uh, with Sing Crew, um, obviously in Cambridge, a hip-hop arts organisation, concentrating on teaching and hip-hop theatre. Um, Elemental Force and Break It Down, uh, uh, a teaching company and a, a, a youth development charity both based in Cardiff, and uh, for Culture Mongol Dance Theatre, which is a dance, a hip-hop arts dance theatre company uh, based in Edinburgh. How do you earn money is a bit of a personal question. <laughs> um, I earn money by teaching and performing, judging, battling if I win competitions, you know, on the rare occasion that I enter a competition um, and win, uh, but also by other, other types of performance work. So I'm part of an extras agency based in Manchester called Boss. Um, you know, I, I, I have done work, you know, doing uh, theatre and education workshops um, in Cambridge before, you know, so other things present themselves along the way depending on what connections you've made, you know, what professional circles you're in. But mainly I, I'll do whatever is reasonable to, to earn a living as long as it doesn't get, it, it doesn't get in the way of or stop me from training and dancing for my own enjoyment. There are loads of opportunities out there for new and emerging artists. Uh, if you're talking about artists um, who are, you know, school leavers age 16 to 18, there's tons of opportunities for further education. You can get into dance colleges and dance schools, you can take dance classes, um, you can build up uh, a professional network and start doing um, performance work, you know, you, uh, there's loads and loads of opportunities. To be honest, opportunities opportunities arise to people who are resourceful and look for them. So, the more resourceful the art you are, the more professionally you can you professionally you treat yourself and behave, uh, the more opportunities will arise. Um, for Shimano or any other young dancer wanting to take um, break into the next level or dance to the next level professionally, I would advise them to treat themselves seriously as a dancer, so uh, really apply yourself to your craft, train hard, listen to your teachers, uh, travel, look for resources, uh, find out as much information as you can, be curious, um, give yourself permission to um, do well in things, so you know, uh, take your time when you're creating things, don't just rush things, if you want to make a video, you know, Download software, learn how to use it, um, ask friends for advice, figure stuff out. Um, if you want to make a show, just don't don't just rush choreography, you know, work hard, research, you know, how to make your music properly, um, you know, consider costume, consider staging, consider lighting, you know, think about your stuff, treat yourself treat, treat it like a real project. Um, if you if you're gonna do anything, um, for a career, you need to. If you if you're going to do anything professionally, you need to treat yourself as a professional. So um, take it seriously, as if you mean it. Um, you know, there's nobody should be trying to take this craft as as like a job without applying yourself to it every day or like four or five days a week. You know, like you should be constantly hammering out your craft. Um, you know. Uh, and yeah, listen to your teachers. Find find who is the right, who are the right people um, to learn off, and listen to them, to, uh, 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 taking their advice, and um, believe in what they say. Stay true to where you where you've come from, and, and who's taught you.
is the advice I would give you.